Calvin, you recently reported on state regulators demanding a change of leadership at Green Mountain Support Services. Today you spoke with the former executive director of GMSS. What did he tell you? Right, Kat. So Josh Smith tells me that GMSS and the families that it serves are in good hands. Now, Green Mountain Support Services is a nonprofit organization that the state pays uh, to provide transportation, companionship, employment opportunities, and other services for Vermont adults with disabilities. Now, last year, the Vermont Department of Aging and Independent Living began what's called a decertification process, citing concerns about leadership and several investigations into GMSS's billing practices. A new provider, Champlain Community Services, is stepping in and taking over operations. Now, Smith tells me he stepped down from GMSS so the organization could continue to serve families. But he says at times, there's an adversarial relationship between the state and service providers like GMSS, and he wants that to improve. Vermont is poised to be back into being one of the most innovative and compassionate systems of people living with disabilities. But paramount to that is making sure that there is um, true and fair uh, collaboration that's happening within um, the state and also within the agency system. And meanwhile, state lawmakers are considering giving state regulators more oversight of the state's 15 designated and specialized service agencies, including GMSS. Now, the House of Representatives budget, which lawmakers, uh, a key panel gave the green light to, earlier today, it funds about nine new positions in state government uh, for oversight of these organizations. Kat? Calvin, thank you.